everyone and welcome back to another Monday plan with me. So I'm planning from July 17th through to the 23rd and I'm using the Victoria Angels kit from Paper Chic Co, although she's changed her name to Paper Chic Plans. Here are your full boxes, half boxes, appointment labels, habit trackers and bill dues, your headers and your little things, your ombre check boxes, and then here is your weekend banner, your icons, page flags and two weekly ombre boxes, your bottom washi and your washi strips, and then the last page is Large Deco, which is absolutely stunning. And then the two strips at the bottom, they're actually small washi strip-like pieces, which I was originally going to use as headers throughout this spread. So I'm going to start with the washi as usual, and I like the quote along the bottom, so I'm going to place this along the top. And I've also covered up the black line along the top as well, where my header would normally go, just because I there was no kind of date covers in this kit so I had an idea of what to do. So first of all obviously I stuck this along the top and I just needed to trim the excess that was overhanging. I chose this kit this week because I've had such a stressful two weeks like I went to bed not feeling well at all because I've just been so stressed out lately so I wanted a kit that was super girly and super pretty and would just cheer me up. So for my date covers, I'm actually going to try and try this out. I've never seen anyone else do this before, but I'm just using the two weekly ombre boxes, which I don't normally use in my spreads, um, but I thought I would try and incorporate them this way. So I'm just cutting off the days. So in an ombre box, you can see where the boxes are because it kind of has a line where it ombres into the next shade of colour. So I'm just using that as a guide and chopping them along that line. Then I'm going to go through and add the Monday on the Monday one and then alternate the colours. So it'll go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, all in different colours. It actually turned out looking really cute and I really liked it. So next time if a kit comes and it doesn't have the date covers but I love the washi, I may just do this again because I kind of liked it. And I don't usually use the ombre boxes. Sometimes I'll use them to write down my dinners and things like that but I don't normally do that so... I'm quite pleased that I found a use for these boxes. Then I just went along and added the dates along the top as well. So I'm going to go in day by day as usual, so I'm going to start off with the Monday. And I decided to start with a piece of thick patterned washi and then a solid half box which I flipped onto its side. And I was just deciding which kind of quarter box to use and I went for this grey colour. On top of that I layered a page flag and then I just wrote down on my half box that I needed to upload this plan with me that you guys are now watching. And then the quarter box I just had to write down that I needed to have a tidy up in the morning. I also stuck an icon down of a computer under the plan with me. I then put down my full box here and then laid on top a pink appointment label. I took the flowers from the deco sheet because they are super cute and I just wanted to mark down that I needed to work on my Etsy shop or work on the stickers that are going in my Etsy shop rather. So I needed to mark off a good chunk of time because I wanted to be able to spend enough time to finish off what I needed to get done. Underneath I put a header from the extra glitter kind of headers that were on the deco sheet and then underneath that I used a pink piece of the wide washi to mark down that I needed to borrow my parents car for the next day so I just used the little car icon that came on the icon sheet and then underneath I put a grey page flag down onto its side to mark some time for my children to do their homework. And then lastly I finished it off with a black appointment label and on top I layered a laptop icon and because I've been so stressed out I just wanted to treat myself to an evening on Sims because I love Sims 4, you probably never knew that but I'm a total Sims fan. For Tuesday I started off with a light grey half box and we're actually going camping on Sunday for the whole entire week so I needed to definitely get up to the city and stock up on my camping supplies because they are running short and I'm running out of time to go and get them. I should have done them the week before but I've just been too busy. So I put a little Starbucks coffee or latte drink up the top there because we all know that I'm going to stop for coffee. Underneath I just put a checklist which I will fill in the night before I go on the things that I needed to pick up. Next I laid an important header and then underneath I put a half box because my daughter's got a gymnastics show coming up. I finished it off by using the clinking glasses little icon at the top. Not that she's going to be drinking alcohol or anything but it's a little special occasion. 
Then I put down my full box and then I really wanted to use these wings because I love them so much but they are so big like they would have covered up the day either side so I decided not to use them but then I moved on and put my little TV icon down because I had scandal on. For Wednesday I put down one of these but first coffee stickers which is also from Paper Sheet Plans and then underneath I put down an appointment label. I was having such trouble with stickers today guys, I don't know what it was, I think it's just the end of my stressful week and I couldn't put these stickers down properly so you'll see I struggle quite often with lots of different stickers but I just put the appointment label down because I wanted to remind myself to have a really good clean through all of the bedrooms upstairs. Then I put my half box down with a little piece of washi on top and then an asterisk icon to mark down that I needed to spend the afternoon working on my poppets for my Etsy shop. Next I put two pieces of the washi down which were from the extra washi strips that came on the deco sheet so I just put two of those down to mark a section of time for my children to do their homework again. I also put a little heart icon down there too. Next up I grabbed a little thing from the little things sheet with the headers and I just put down that I needed to do some laundry before we start going camping. I needed to make sure everything was clean and ready to go. I had two TV programs that I wanted to watch which was Bob's Burgers and Scandal. Then I just picked this up and put it back into my planner and then moved on to Thursday. For the Thursday I took two strips of the gold washi and I also took the gorgeous silk dressing gown that came on the deco sheet because I thought it was the perfect way to mark down that I was going to be having a lazy morning so I was just going to laze around on social media and kind of taking my time before I actually get into what I needed to get done on Thursday. So then I put my to clean header down because I kid you not I'm going to be cleaning for the entire day. I don't know why but whenever I go away anywhere I have to have a big spring clean in my house before I go. So then when I come home my house is all completely clean and organised and just ready to get back into normal routine. Let me know if you guys are like me and do the same thing down below because everybody thinks that I'm a little bit weird for going so overboard for when we're not even going to be here. But I just finished it off at the bottom with an asterisk little thing just to mark down that my bins had to go out. For Friday I started with a half box and a page flag that I just popped onto its side and this was just to mark down that it was the last day of term so the children break up for the summer holidays. And then I also had a bilgey this day as well so I just took one of the bilgey icons from the kit and placed it underneath. I decided to leave the black line in because I was using a black half box so I just flipped it onto its side like I would normally do. And then I also put a round page flag and I was going to mark down that I was possibly going to film next week's plan with me so it can still go up for you guys even though I'm not going to be here or whether you guys would prefer to see two spreads the week after and one as a rewind spread for next week if that makes any sense because I won't really know what we're doing until we're there so I'm thinking a rewind spread may be a bit better and more interesting for you for me to be able to write things in but let me know down in the comments which one you would prefer whether you would prefer to see a blank plan with me next week or a rewind spread with all of the things that we've done. Let me know. So I had to mark down that I needed to start packing for our camping trip and I done that using a little things with the box icon and then on top of my full box I placed a half box just to remind myself that we are going to be meeting the family over at the park because we always do that on the last day of term on the summer term. Me and my family like my cousins and my sisters and their children we all meet over at the park and we have a big picnic it's just an annual thing that we seem to do. I also needed to remind myself to do my nails that night and also I needed to redo my lashes. For the weekend I usually like to put down some washi as a background behind my weekend banner so I just used some of the washi strips that came with the sheet. So for Saturday I started off with one of these book first coffee stickers and underneath I put an appointment label and I had to remind myself to make sure to fill up the car with petrol before we left the next day. It felt like it was a little bit off so I just picked it up and stuck it back down a little bit further down to straighten it out a little. Next I took two pieces of washi and a half box that I flipped up onto its side 
and it was to mark down that I needed to finish packing whatever was left to pack before we left on the Sunday. Next I took my full box and just stuck it down along the bottom and then I had to reposition it. This is where Saturday just went terribly, terribly wrong. It went worse and worse. I think it all started because where I wrote down to remind myself to finish packing, I really didn't like it. So I even put a little like on there to try and spruce it up a little but it just was not working. But I did put a little label down at the bottom with a page flag because we were going to be packing the car that night so it was all ready for the next morning. So because I really didn't like that pack sticker I decided to try and rip it up but then it ripped up some of the page so then I had to take everything off and completely start again so I also took away the washi strips and then that was my only half box that I had left at the time so what I done is I had to reuse it. I put it down the right way up this time and then took an appointment label to cover up the word that I had written pack. And then on top of there I also put one of the little labels that comes on the header sheet with a little box like I did on the Friday. And then that way I could finish writing pack on there. Underneath I put a to buy because there was a few bits that I knew I was going to be picking up on the Saturday. And it just really felt off that whole pack situation on the Saturday so I had to keep moving it and this was really irritating and really frustrating. Later I realise it's the actual label that I've put on that says pack, that's crooked and I do fix that later. But I just had to remind myself to pick up some coal and some fire logs. For Sunday I put down a to do three checklist box and I had to remind myself to feed the cat, lock all of the windows and just to turn all of the plugs off. I then completely forgot that I hadn't put two very important things on the Saturday so I just went back and added two washi strips and then I just wrote on there that we had to use all of the milk up on the Saturday night before we go and then for everyone to have baths which was super important because obviously we're going camping and we can't get super clean so if everybody arrives super clean then it's a bit better. I then put down a bill due but I covered the bill due writing up with a page flag because we wanted to make sure we marked that we were going to be leaving the house by 8 in the morning. And then here's where I realised it was the label that was crooked, not the actual half box itself. So I just corrected that and then put down a glitter, little piece of washi to cover up that black line and then a half box. So because we're going to be leaving quite early in the morning, I said that we could definitely stop off and have breakfast at McDonald's before we go which also gives the chance for the rest of my family to catch up because we go camping as a family every year. There's probably about 40 of us that are going to be going so we all kind of leave at different times but try to arrive at a similar time to make sure we can get all of our tents and everything together. So that's another reason to stop off at McDonald's or that's what I keep telling myself that you know there is a reason and it's okay. Then I just filled up the gap with some of the black washi because I hadn't used any of the black washi yet. So I just used it all up and placed it together almost like another half box. And then on top of there I put down a piece of deco which was these little flowers. And we're going to move on and do our sidebar. So for the sidebar I used this really pretty flat lay picture at the top just to cover up the calendar and then I used the piece of washi that kind of matches it just at the bottom to pull it down a little bit more just so it covered all of the writing. Underneath I put my habit tracker which isn't going to be for Instagram or anything, it's going to just track this week on working on Etsy and working on my shop just so I can track how much work I'm putting into it. And then underneath I just put a bit of glitter washi and then my next week header. Oh sorry, no. <laughs> I'm so used to putting a next week in. It was pointless me putting a next week in because we were just going to be camping. So I put a this week header in and then marked down things that I wanted to get done this week. I'm so used to putting a next week in. Underneath I was just going to put another piece of washi just to break it up and then I realised my checklist was a little crooked so I just went ahead and fixed it. And then to fill in the large gap that's left, I used the full box that I had left over. There must have been a day that I didn't use a full box. I'm just quickly looking. I think it was Monday. No, not Monday. I'm not sure, but I didn't use a full box on one of the days. So I had a full box left over, so I just used it to fill in that gap. And then right at the bottom where there was a few more lines, I used the leftovers of the patterned washi that I had.
Then I just went back and filled in my this week section of the things that were very important that I had to get done this week so then I can cross them off as I do them and it doesn't matter what day I complete them. Then I just went back in with the deco that I had left and it's all pretty big so I had to kind of take my time and decide where I wanted to put things. I ended up putting a load of things along the top and the wings that I really loved I did also put along the top and then just cut off the tops because they were even too big to go along the top there. Then I just went back in and just swapped these two over because I felt like the flat lay would look better with a black background and then the little flowers at the bottom but then they kind of needed a bit of a background as well so I just used up the washi that I had left just as a background behind the flowers just to make them stand out a little bit more. I also wanted to go back in and add a few more of the small circle icons. I feel like I don't use them enough in my spread so I put the washing machine down by the laundry the little cat paw by the cat and then where I had pack I thought it'd be a good idea to mark things down that I would need to pack such as my camera, the first aid kit, my phone, it's also my cousin's birthday when we go there so I needed to mark down to remember to take a card, a little present and maybe a cake and then I also stuck the fast food one down where the McDonald's one was and then put down a little coffee cup and write down camping right at the end. Here is everything that I've got left from this kit. I did actually use quite a lot so I managed to cram it all in. And then here is a close up of this week's spread too. So if you liked it then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember I won't be here next week but you will have two Plan With Me videos coming the week after. I'm so sorry this Plan With Me has been a long one but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye!